All right, this video is to answer Luke 12,000's questions about what I think global warming amounts to and also why I don't think the Industrial Revolution was an uncontroversially good thing. Um, and they're related, certainly. But to begin with global warming, I think uh, the jury is still out as to just how extreme the problem is. Um, definitely... There does seem to be a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere, and some models suggest that CO2 and temperature are correlated throughout the last 100, 400,000 years of, uh, of Earth's history. Um, other models suggest that the sun and cosmic rays and their relationship to the cloud cover in the upper atmosphere of the planet uh, plays a, a larger role in the shifting of of temperatures and climate on the planet. Um, so the jury is still out as to the causes and uh, circumstances of global warming. Um, so I'm not a global warming alarmist. Um, I do think, though, that human beings need to recontextualize themselves uh, as members of uh, a living community, as, as living beings embedded within an ecosystem on a planet with limited resources uh, limited air, limited soil, limited oil, limited food, um, and we haven't in the past, for the past few hundred years, recognized this, um, and you could even say for the past few thousand years, but certainly um, this lack of recognition of our ecological situation um, was most ignored during the Industrial Revolution and continues to be ignored up to this day because the implementation of technological means to control and exploit nature for human benefit is inherently unsustainable. So that's the downside of industrialization. And, you know, certainly we could say it was also a great triumph. Um, but in the next breath, we have to remind ourselves that it was a huge tragedy as well. It uh, led to a lot of uh, increases in the quality of life, at least on a material level. Um, I can live in my nice air-conditioned house and use my toilet to get rid of my waste and go to the refrigerator to get my food from the grocery store and drive my car and all of that. But the harms... I think, uh, well, overpopulation, um, environmental degradation, uh, social alienation, these are all results of all the good things that industrialization brought us. So we have to keep this all in mind when we try to evaluate the costs and benefits of industrialization. And I think one of the more damaging aspects of industrialization is the myth of progress. The idea that through using technology we could actually reach into the future and pull it into the present, um, that's, that's an illusion and it's a very dangerous illusion because we kind of ignore whatever we're doing in the present thinking that it'll all be okay as soon as we finally reach the future. Then, you know, all this destruction around us, we'll just solve it all with technology. Progress, at least in the technological sense, is an illusion. For every step forward you take, you take another step backward.